My name is Taylor Coyle and I'm an SSPC funded PhD student in Dublin City University. Pancreatic cancer is one of the deadliest cancers affecting patients in Ireland, with 550 people diagnosed each year. The five year survival rate is 9%, with a typical survival time of less than six months, showing just how important the discovery of new and effective therapies are. Unlike many other cancers, it does not present many symptoms which means it is usually diagnosed at a much later stage when it is locally advanced or metastatic. The pancreas is located behind the stomach. There is a lack of effective therapeutic options to treat this disease. Chemotherapy is a main treatment option which uses drugs to destroy cancer cells. Pancreatic cancer patients are given a combination of various drugs rather than a single drug. One problem patients face is that the drugs only work for a short period of time before the cancer cells get used to the drug and continue to grow. This is known as drug resistance. The aim of my project is to develop a lab model of drug resistance of pancreatic cancer using primary cells, cells taken directly from a patient. Here, we can see that the cells continue to grow in the presence of the drugs. I treat these cells in a similar pattern of exposure as patients. As the cells are treated, I will investigate changes in their appearance and how they respond to different levels of drug. At this point, I also investigate the role of non-coding RNAs, known as micro-RNAs, and the role they play in developing drug resistance. Why is my research important? I am hoping to address the lack of effective therapies in two ways. Firstly, by analysing the mechanisms by which cells become resistant, I hope to gain a better understanding of how we can optimise current treatments. Secondly, I am looking at genes and non-coding RNAs known as microRNAs, which are abnormally balanced in pancreatic cancer cells. These have the potential to be used as therapeutic targets in the future, an outcome which could be very important in the hopes of prolonging the life of pancreatic cancer patients. My research is important because the median survival for pancreatic cancer is 4.6 months after diagnosis. This means someone diagnosed in summer is unlikely to see Christmas. The death rate is continuously rising and less than 2% of overall cancer research funding goes to pancreatic cancer. It is time for the statistics to change.